Hey there everyone, this is Monkey Shrapnel from the Guys of the Game, back with some more Final Fantasy IX in depth. And here we are at Clara, or well, we're at the trunk of Clara, because, you know, as we'll see here, Clara's trunk. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. The Tempest. How do. The Tempest! Jeez. The Tempest subsides. By the gods! Come on, let's go while we can. Indeed, let us press on. And on and on and on. Must hurry! Must find yummy yummies. So I wonder what the implication there. The Tempest subsides. I, I've never fully understood this. I guess the idea is that for some reason the sandstorm's just kind of like less active right now or something. But like, or maybe they just, I don't even know. Not entirely sure. Clara's a really, like, this is a, Clara's Trunk is a really cool uh, dungeon, though. I'm going to say that. This is definitely one of the more memorable locations in the game. And it has kind of a funky song, too. What's this called? Yeah, the Clara Tree Roots. What's this? Nope, shut tight. It's also got some uh, sequence puzzles. You got levers and stuff you can pull. Huzzah. Wait, can you re-pull that actually? I never even thought about that. Something popped up. Why Why can you re-pull this? They've been in animation for a closing, which is probably just the same thing in reverse, but like, that's kind of funny you can close it for whatever reason. Like, there's literally no reason to ever close it. It's not like it closes, like, you know, like stops you from doing anything. We'll probably get some counters here and there because I went the long way because I wanted to check. Claymore actually, not only is it like a very, like, one of the more memorable dungeons in the game, but it has a lot of really cool random encounters, actually. Now we can see these dragonflies that we saw, but now there's two of them. And yeah, like I mentioned before, these guys have a lot of defense. However, uh, remember that Blizzard spell we got? Vivi will get whacked for a sec here, and then he's gonna nuke these guys with Blizzara. Just dead. Pretty much every enemy in here is weak to ice because, for that's like a theme with Final Fantasy dungeons. Like the de for some reason the desert areas are always like everyone's got to be weak to ice. They also all I'm pretty sure every enemy in here that's like sandy also absorbs, so they heal from water. Which is kind of a, a cute detail. Even though the, the only time you'd ever get a chance to take advantage of that is, uh... I guess with Aqua Breath. Aqua Breath, we can take advantage of that. Uh... Oh, right. Clay, Freya learned something. Let's see here. She got the... Yeah. New helmet. Let's go. That gear that raises spirit. And also gloves, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, and she can get the chainmail, too, which is good. Got some better stats now. Uh, yeah. Let me just double check on this all. Do, do, boop, boop. That ends on his way to Undead Killer. Yeah, we're all good. Oh, let's keep going. There's some uh, enemies in here we can eat, though, which actually, not a thing about it. you can eat the dragonflies. I probably should have done that, but that's cool. <laughs> we already got new equipment Magician Shoes. As you can imagine, these are good for Vivi. Gives him a decent boost to magic, and it teaches him clear-headed, which is blind or er, confusion immunity, along with you know MP ten percent blind, which work exactly as you'd expect. Uh, have I talked about auto potion yet? I think I I think I quickly meant. Did I mention this? I don't think I went over auto potion because we haven't used it yet. Uh. I'll quickly go over it. So auto potion is exactly what it said. Did I mention? I'm getting deja vu, but whatever. If it, if I did it, then whatever. It'll just do it twice because it's pretty cool. It, it's a basically like it says when you get damaged, you use a potion. Uh, I think I mentioned this. This is the thing I'm wondering if I can. I'm wasting more time mentioning this than I am just talking about it. If you take damage, you use a potion. And a fun little detail with auto potion is that if you have no potions, then you'll throw high potions instead. Which is kind of, uh, actually like a really cool like minor detail. Um, 
Yeah, these are all good. Uh, I'm trying to think... Let me double check here. We have... Should I go over anything else in here while I'm here? Like... So I mean, I, oh yeah, uh, I, oh, I haven't even mentioned this yet because I totally forgot about this, but Lancer, I, keep, I got Lancer's power wrong twice. Lancer's only 20% stronger than a regular attack, not 40%. It's 1.2 times as strong. So yeah, Lancer kind of sucks, honestly. Like, it, it's good if you're back row and you just want damage fast, but the MP stuff sucks. It's not worth doing that ever, which is kind of unfortunate. Anyways, enough talking after I got one piece of equipment. Let's see what else we'll find. I mean, it'd be nice to find the dragonflies again, but there's also there's a lot of encountered in here, and I think it varies from screen to screen, obviously. Hey, it's this mother mofo. The clay, uh, clay I was gonna call him a clay golem. Sand golem. So sand golem is composed of two parts here. So he has the core. The core is the part you actually want to kill. But the thing is, let's demonstrate this. If we have Quenna attack the core... Holy shit! Calm down! He'll immediately get countered for a pretty hefty blow. So the idea with this guy is what you want to do is... Oh, is he going to use Sandstorm? Uh-oh. I forget if this does damage or if this is like... Okay, yeah, this is just damage. Oh, it actually put Quinn into trance, which is unfortunate because this guy can't be eaten. So unfortunately, that's kind of a waste. I mean, it's not a big waste because now Quinn can do even more damage. So, basically the idea is you attack the golem, it's like the golem's body. Holy shit, Quinn, calm down. And when you do that, the golem dissipates for a minute. Or a mi I tried to say minute and mimic for some reason. And while that's happening, the core just kind of has fun shaking around. You can see, like, the core is kind of adorable. The clay, the, whatchamacallit, the core has a tiny clay golem face on it. It's a clay golem, yeah. So basically now, you attack the core for free, and it won't counter you. And it's dead. Man, freaking Quina just went in and obliterated that thing. Jeez. I mean, for... <laughs> I, I can't talk right now. I'm getting everyone's name wrong again. Got a high potion and a potion mat. But yeah, Clay Golem... I said again, I, you can tell I've been playing a lot of Diablo 2 over my over my life. Because I keep wanting to say Clay Golem. The Sand Golem is a very cool enemy. Just because like it's like actually a fairly complicated enemy for... You know, especially like for this point in the game. It's actually arguably one of the more complex enemies throughout the game because, you know... The whole two-part system is pretty cool. It also, uh, once you, like, it regenerates, I didn't even mention this, but, because, you know, it didn't show up, but when it dissipates, it regenerates after a little while, so. It has a couple attacks, you know, it can fire us to hell and back. I forget if the core has any steals. Let's check. I don't think it does. Holy shit, Quina. You're going in. Oh, the core does have its own steel. That's kind of funny, actually. Um, I mean, let's let's let it see if it gets a chance to regenerate. So we'll attack the core with these guys, and we'll just let uh, these guys go in. Yeah, there you go. When it starts like kind of stopping for a sec, now it's going to regenerate, and now it's back up. Jeez, Quina is doing insane damage. He keeps one-shotting them. Calm down, dude. And that's fine by me. By the way, a funny little detail, too. When the golem is down, you can still attack the... the... Golem, which is like it kind of makes sense because it's obviously still there, and it's actually like because it, it's still there and it doesn't redirect your movement, it kind of punishes you for not uh, like paying attention to your targeting, right? Because if you just all target the golem, right, you'll just waste your attacks smacking the golem when it's down, and it doesn't really do anything. Uh, let's just smack the core. I think Zion will kill it here. Oh, I made him steal. Whoops. Yeah, it's back up. I'm going to attack with Quanna on the core, and watch, this is the time it's he's not going to do 
a crap ton of damage, and she's gonna get countered for a million. Nope. He did. Oh my god. Quinn is a on fire. He, she keeps consistently doing like over like 500 damage. That's nuts. That's some good Quinn luck. That Mirthro Fork puts in the work when you get it, man. You, you've obviously noticed too, most of the enemies here have, like, they'll drop potions and, like, you can steal high potions from them, which, you know, kind of helps with the fact that we don't have healer right now. Very nice. Uh. Let's just head over to the next screen. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, now yeah, you can go up here, although it's. I don't think you can go anywhere. I forget what happens if we come up here right now. Yeah, we're just blocked off. But as you can imagine, I'm saying right here, right now, you know. Because, if we come up here, we might get an encounter. Actually, you might want to get an encounter there, because I think you can get... Uh, if you're in the outside portions, there's like an enemy you can fight in the outside parts, which you kind of want to. So here... Now, <laughs> now what? We can examine this hole. So dark, I can't see a thing. And you know what you do with dark holes, if Resident Evil and Silent Hill have taught us anything, you gotta put your hand in the hole! Uh-oh, sand's coming. Yeah, we, for some reason that releases a bunch of sand. I forget if you can come back... And like, I think you can actually like, put your hand back in here. Well, maybe you can't. Maybe we're stuck here now. Because if you come down here, right, you can't go back here anymore, right? The sand's in the way. So I didn't know that funny little, like, oh no, I'm falling. Let's get an encounter out here, though. Because I don't remember if... It might be the only thing out here, but I don't think it is. There should be an enemy here we can fight, which should be interesting for us to find. Yeah, there it is. It's a zoo! Remember these guys from... If you ever played an old game? They're pretty big in this game. And uh, we want to eat this guy because he's got some. He's got a really good spell for Quena. And because it's a big monster, it's weak to Blizzard. I actually okay. He doesn't have the Magus hat anymore, so this shouldn't kill it. Hopefully. Okay, he's alive. Good. <laughs> yeah, there's the spell. White Wind. He's got White Wind, and that'll heal like what, like 400? Almost. So we'll attack. See, here's the thing. I'm wondering if we're gonna see the counter. No, Freya. That's so much damage. I wanted to eat it. It's so hard to eat things sometimes. Thankfully, this thing gives good AP, but not a lot of experience. So let's. Uh, you know, we'll wait actually, because there's another spot where we can fight them. So, uh, we'll f we'll check it out later. That thing's actually got a couple nasty things you can do. So this is like the same screen from earlier, but now it's uh, basically covered in sand. It's kind of like I'm afraid of this. Like, is there? There must be a way to undo this, is there? Because otherwise, we're like stuck in here. You can't backtrack. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. Oh, that's the goal. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna get a deal with you. We've already seen you twice. So we're just gonna have Zidane steal from you while. Uh, uh, we just try to run. More high potions? Excellent. High potions are awesome right now because it's basically like a full heal. <laughs> I'm hiccuping because I have a Slurpee with me that I'm drinking. But I forget if there's anything up here. You can see a chest up there which kind of taunts you, but you actually can't get that right now. It'll be a while before we can actually get that chest. Yeah, now we're here. Chest over here. We, there, You finally get the needle fork for Quena. But we have the freaking Mithril Fork already, because we stole it. You can see, like, stealing can be... It isn't always, but sometimes, like, you get some good, like, stuff and stuff. I love this sand fall, by the way. Like, there's no reason you can do this, but it's just funny. You can try to walk up there and Zidane gets mad. A tent. Nice. Ugh. Yeah, pretty much, I forgot that, like, early on, like, during all these sandy parts, it's just, like, the goal. I'm pretty sure that this might actually be the only encounter you can get here. Or, nope, I guess not. It's very likely, at least. Anyways, um... Uh, 
Oh god, see, this is the hard thing about eating these guys. These guys have a good spell to eat too, but they have a habit of doing this. Let's use a group blizzard and maybe that first one will be low enough. Blizz they have low magic defense but high defense, so Blizzard can do quite a bit. Ah, damn it. See, that's the thing. Let's try eating it anyways. Nuts. See, Zidane's in Berserk and he's also in Trance, so... If he gets hit, he might trance, which actually would be a good thing, because it would cure his Berserk. Let's see what happens here, though. Yeah, <laughs> look at that damage he's doing now. Calm down, dude. Um, attacking with Vivi might be enough, hopefully. Oh, that didn't do much damage at all, actually. I think it's guaranteed it's going to die. Actually, wait, wait. I can cure Zidane's Berserk with Geishel Greens. And that should cure his his turn, essentially. Yeah. It's kind of like a nice mercy. So let's attack. We'll keep attacking with Vivi. We'll defend with these guys so they have less of a chance of getting hit. And then we'll eat with Quinn and hopefully it's low enough now. Let's see here. Damn it! Okay, well that's fine. I mean, if 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 uh, Zidane trances, like whatever. I honestly don't care. It'd be nice to save it for a tougher encounter that we want to kill, but like at the end of the day, it's like who cares, right? We'll try to st we'll steal from him while we're at it. Go tent. That's awesome. Keep trying to eat. These things don't have much health, so like it can be a little hard to actually like get it low. Like, that's the thing, the zoo has a lot of health, but because it has so much health, it's actually pretty easy to get it into eat range. Which is kind of the irony. The enemies with more health are actually easier to eat. Because, like, you tend to kill this thing in, like, one or two hits, so getting it low without killing it is hard. Right? Because it's either you smack it for half its health with a strong physical, or you hit it with an ice spell and just kill it. There we go! Matra Magic! Matra Magic is an awesome spell for Quenna because it helps him a ton with eating, actually. So Matra Magic, if you played 7, so the, Ma I guess Matra Magic's in a couple games. Matra Magic is usually like a spell that hits everything for like some like non elemental damage, which you think would be like, oh, that's useful for Quenna to do some damage. But Matra Magic is actually completely different in this game. It is single target, first of all. And instead of just doing like damage, it actually does this. It reduces a target's HP to 1. It has fairly low accuracy, but it is basically a uh, easy way, like if you're just sitting here, you can basically just use this and not have to worry about killing stuff. Because you can just match your magic instead of that. Which is actually really nice. It's not super useful for like killing stuff, because it's like its accuracy isn't that high. But the fact that it exists really helps with Kenna's eating to get right now. And I mean, like if you're doing nothing else with Quena, it's like you might as well just be using Matra Magic or not. I love this spot. There's like a little mailbox here. I don't know why this is here, but it's here. And hey, we're giving letters, so we're kind of mailmen. Thanks for delivering the letter from Atla. From Atla to Moniv. <clears throat> Let me drink my Slurpee while this text is slowly scrolling. Hmm. <sighs> Koopo, strange people came to town and destroyed the entire place. What the heck is going on, Koopo? I don't want to see any more pointy hats. Maybe sh Oh, Moni should be careful too. Maybe you should move elsewhere. <laughs> Things are terrible in Vermicia, Koopo. Are you going to be okay here, Koopo? I did kind of just use potions, but whatever. I'll use a tent. Heal uh, Vivi's and everyone's MP. Uh, and I guess I'll save too, like why not? Let's save, Koopo. Uh... Holy crap, 15 hours, what the heck? Why is that so much later? That's kind of funky. I don't remember why that's so late. 
There's no way I spent six hours. What the heck? I don't know why I'm... I don't remember. Because I don't remember which... One of these saves is my no Quena playthrough. One of them isn't, so I don't remember which one it is. Anyways, let's get off this screen and try to find something that we can eat. Because there's another enemy here we can eat, which is pretty cool. And this will get that'll give us a really great spell, but uh, we're probably not gonna find. I don't think you can find them until later in the dungeon. You have to get to the next screen, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna find another sun golem. Look at this mofo. Look how burly he looks. It, it, it's kind of incredible that this thing that's like covered in sand looks beefy. Like it's just made of sand, but somehow it looks like it has like muscle definition. Like it has like abs and like biceps. Like it's kind of funny actually. If you think about it. What's the fan with these guys? He gives his eye drops because I believe that his sandstorm attack can inflict blind. There we go, we're gone. I'm running away from fights manually instead of doing it with the skill. Would you, would you call that manually or automatically? Technically, using the skill would be more manual. So I guess we're just doing the... We're doing the non-skill version because we're not super high amounts of money right now. Um... Where do you want to be? Let's... Oh, there's a chest up here. So this is where we want to be. Flame Staff! Eh, finally would have gotten that. How close is Vivi to Blizzard? He's still far away. Already got to these. Let me look. Man, Freya's really... Like, AP up really helps, eh? Um, we almost got it for the Bone Hat. We'll finally be able to slap on the... Bandana for some nice stuff. Look how much of a buff of Zidane's magic defense. It's gonna double his magic defense. It's gonna make him take like half as much damage from magic. Actually, I think technically more than that because of the way it works. Right? Because remember that defense is overpowered in this game. Which isn't really what I. Hey, there you go. That's the thing we wanna find. I forgot what these things are called. I think they're just like. Yeah, carry on worms. So these are things like kind of like the things you'd see uh, like eating like. Grub, like, I guess you'd call them grubs? I don't remember what these are. These things are actually, like, really frail. Like, what? Well, I think Freya's gonna one shot this thing. They only have, like, 200 health or something like that. They're really frail. But they are gonna use Trouble Juice, which is the first time we're gonna see this status effect. Not, I guess, actually, never mind, because I didn't trance, so it gets rid of the status effect. Uh, oh, damn it, we have a new t trance to show off, though. Sorry, sorry, carry on, worm. We're probably gonna see more of you, so I kind of have to use this because I want to show off the new, you know, scoop art. That's his third thing. And you know, Zidane just casually does fourteen hundred damage. Yeah, freaking Zidane's trance kind of like not only does it get like you get like more of them throughout the game and they get exponentially stronger because they each get like a little bit stronger in terms of how much they multiply your damage like yeah you can see like Zidane's trance is really strong like it's one of the trances that like starts off good and then only gets better as you get more skills yeah see we found two more easy peasy Uh, let's try attacking one. I don't remember if these things are weak to ice. They might actually be weak to ice because they're bugs. Bugs tend to be weak to ice in this game. Everything here, not only is everything here using fire, but they're all like weak to ice. Like it's kind of funny. No, no. I mean, hell, let's let's throw out a Macho Magic. Maybe we'll get lucky, right? And we stole a tent. That's awesome too. Now let's use a group. Well, wait, 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 wait. Well, <laughs> let's wait on that because if I hit with Macho Magic and then I kill it, I'm gonna hate it. We'll get to see Macho Magic animation at least. That we missed. Man, I feel like I, I just miss constantly with Quena. Alright, let's eat this thing. Alright, let's blizzard it first and see if we can eat it. That's probably enough to eat it, actually. Make sure I'm stealing so I don't accidentally. Oh, they can. I forgot they have drain too. And these things are kind of like just bigger birds if you think about it. They have anointments too. No, don't use drain. I wonder if they always use drain when they're low on health. That kind of sucks. They drain from Freya too. Wait, oh no, that was from Quena. Well, that's not bad. We might not be able to eat it though because of that. 
Yeah, these things are really hard to eat because they have they're actually super frail. Like when it, maybe he's gonna he didn't kill it, thank god. Alright, come on. Work with me here, buddy. Ah, stop with your fire and the the, the the ouch. The special effects. Alright, come on, Quena. Eat it! We get auto life, which is exactly what you think it is. It works. I mean, that's literally what it is. It's a spell that Quinn can use that gives us auto life. If you die when you have auto life, you get revived with one HP, which is awesome. So, because it gives Quinn something to do during boss fights now, and it also gives him a really easy way to use Limit Glove. Like, auto life is fantastic for Quinn because he can just cast auto life on himself and get res to one health, and then just start nuking everything with uh, auto with the uh, what call Limit Glove. Which is kind of kind of nutty if you think about it. All right, we can finally get Man Eater and Insomniac. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I don't think anything really counts as a beast, so let's take that off and put on I don't know. Put on Insomniac because maybe we'll use Knight at some point just for funsies. Um, it's funny, you know, another thing about Vivi can learn add status, but he doesn't get a, a weapon with a status of Echo for quite some time. I mean, I say that, but to actually, if you take a look, that's that slow. He's getting pretty close to get finishing. Well, I say pretty close. He's still quite a ways away, actually. Did it do? Did it do? Regardless, though, uh, hmm. This screen's fun because you think, like, it looks like this super intricate, like, tunnel, but then it's like, I think everything's just, like, one screen or something. I should say, like, it all just kind of loops on itself, as we'll see in a sec here. I wonder what we're fighting. We're not gonna fight Zan Golems anymore. I think it's just gonna be. I was wrong! It's a Golem again. Damn it. I don't wanna fight you. We get a cool camera angle though, I forgot. Get this cool, like, top-down perspective. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's kill the goal. The funny thing is, because it's a big... Big monsters actually tend to give less experience than groups of smaller monsters, but you get more AP, so it's still worth fighting them. I and mean, we kind of want more AP right now, rather than, like, anything else. Is that enough to just... <laughs> we can't see the damage of the menu. There we go. Okay, let's murder this mofo. Steal from the core, and then we can just have these guys just kill the core. Get some fat loot, and we kill it. Easy peasy. Yeah, we, earlier we saw Zoo only gave like 80 experience, so Zoo's are great for uh, getting AP if you want it. Yeah, see, like, it looks like it's a screen up there. It just goes to the other side of the area we're in. Like, I already got another encounter really fast at you, which is kind of funny. It's another golem. Man, these things are everywhere. I get that you're a cool encounter, but, you know, you don't have to show off, dude. Now we got a quick escape, though, which is actually awesome. But that just means it's free money. It's free real estate. Yeah, I haven't heard that meme before, huh? Ow! I just hit my desk. I think there's a... You can see a chest here, but I think there's another one around here, like in the back. <laughs> of course, we get desert boots in here. Oh, man. I forgot the encounter rate in this area is massive, though. I guess it makes sense. It's like the joke of this screen is that it's like it all looks like it goes somewhere, but it's all just one screen. Just forcing you into encounters. Eh, I guess we'll kill these guys quickly. We're not gonna waste Vivi's magic though, we're just gonna beat it up normally. We'll use trouble juice on us though. I almost thought it didn't work for a second, I thought it failed to trouble us. We stole an anointment, so it doesn't even matter.
Boom. Da -da -da. So since we stole that anointment, we can just immediately cure the trouble and it's not an issue. The game kind of rewards you for like staying on top of your status effects. That's kind of part of it. I guess whether you actually like that or not is kind of like, you know, it's up to you, I guess. Oh, I forgot the edge of the screen is actually a screen. Well, what the heck, I forgot. Damn. I just played myself for the fool. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. <laughs> I love how Zayden's always just like, now what? Yeah, this just like blocks off this screen. So now we can get that treasure chest. I don't, I don't remember if that does anything though. Oh, there's a chest over here. Mithril Vest! I think I think that gives Zayden an auto potion, I think about it. He hasn't learned double killer yet. Yeah, auto potion. It also reduces water damage, which is nice. It does lower his strength though. We're still learning uh, the thing anyways, so. Uh bow, 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 bow. Alright. Enough time on the screen. We're probably gonna get another encounter though, if I had to guess. We didn't, I'm shocked. <laughs> just a potion. I guess they're just really making sure you're not if you're not too low, right? I forget what this is. Ah, an elixir during the fight. Oh, this isn't a fun screen. So basically, it's a good idea to kind of tiptoe your way on this screen. Because if you run, you get s these little sand holes will suck you in easier if you're running. Oop! And basically, you want to button mash. If you don't, uh, you know, if you fail to button mash out of this hole, you will get an encounter. Actually, you know, we'll, we'll just show it off. If I get sucked in, it just gives you an encounter. I forget what you fight though. It might actually be a back attack, always two? I don't remember. That actually might not be true. Oh, hey, it's the scorpions! It's not even a back attack, so this isn't particularly threatening at all. I don't remember if these guys even give us any, like, skills to eat for even. These guys might just be, like, nothing. Ouch. And he's dead. I think that thing counts as an insect as far as bug killer is concerned. Which is kind of kind of a cool detail. They give out you a lot. That thing gives more experience than the zoo. Can I just point that out? Oh, like almost twice as much, in fact. And it kind of kicks you out. And then you're over here. Uh, here we go. This is the screen that you can find zoos on. So we're going to manually... You know, chill here for a sec because we want to fight. We want to eat a zoo. Because zoos will give Quena a very good skill. We're just going to defend with these guys. It has Era. We haven't even seen a thing use Arrow yet. Doesn't do that much damage though, so we'll steal. The camera in here feels a little different. It feels like it's farther back than it was the first time we saw it. Uh, you know, actually here, let's use Matra Magic, just as like a. Actually, you know what? Now I think about it. Why don't I just do this? Let's put it to sleep. Doesn't that make sense? So it can't do anything. I should be taking advantage of this. Quinn is asleep too, but who cares? The thing is, is that now that it's, uh, like now that it's asleep, it won't counter with, it won't use White Wind. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage, yeah. It can be eaten now. We'll have Vivi smack Quina, and then we'll, uh, steal Zayde one more time. And that's good. And there that's why Knight is so fantastic. 
I looked it up by the way, and I was actually totally wrong. There we go, White Wind. So I was wrong about uh, Knight. It has perfect accuracy. It has 255 accuracy, which means it can't ever miss because of like random chance. It can only miss if you has. Uh, I think I forget how it works. I'll look this up later. But uh, yeah. So alert and raise wind. Yeah, but we got White Wind. White Wind is awesome. It's not as overpowered as it is in other Final Fantasy games, but that's probably for the best. White Wind in this game is... I think it, I think the description will just probably just say heals. Just restores HP of all party members. But we'll see how much it heals later. Uh, actually, no, we'll show it off in a sec here. But let me check the skills, too. Do, do, boo, boo, boo. We got Raise Wind, which is awesome. Uh... Got a new thing so we can get swap these out. We'll give him Somniac and Man Eater. Where's he getting that from? That's kind of funny. The bandana gives the exact same things as the coral ring. Uh, that game doesn't really need this, but I mean, I don't know. It's kind of a waste to give him the power belt because like that—that's just so much for him, and he's gonna be stealing for all the boss fights. But I mean. At least for now, we can work towards it. Like, whatever. That one else is still working towards stuff, too, so what does it matter? You know, he only needs one more fight and he can swap over to the Ogre Blade. You know what? Screw it, I'll do that, because I want, I want to show up what White Wind does anyways. I think if we can encounter on this screen... <laughs> Guys show greens? I forgot these are here. Let's actually see... Yeah, yeah, there you go, you can get an encounter on this screen. It's probably going to be a zoo, guaranteed. The only other thing I can think it would be would be the dragonflies. Ha! <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hey, come on, Zayden, what you doing? Alright, where is White Wind? So let's use White Wind. Bing and So let's see how, just how much HP it heals. It'll still heal 180 HP for everyone. And that is because it heals, as you can see by Quinna's HP, it heals everyone's HP equal to one third of Quinna's HP. Which means that it is essentially a healing skill that basically scales with you, which is actually really nice. By the way, I didn't even think about this until now, but I love the sandstorm background, how like it's just spinning super fast. Like it's basically, you can tell that it's just a basic background, but they just made it move really fast. You know, it's got some hella fast parallax scrolling, you know, wink wink. I don't think that's actually what that is, but uh... Alright, well this thing's about to die, because Freya's about to obliterate it. Poor thing. Man, just 300 damage. It's kind of funny, these things, they almost it's almost like they're like, like working against themselves. They berserk you, which actually helps with piercing their strong defense. Hey, we can finally get the Ogre Blade and Soul Blade. I'm not going to talk about Soul Blade just yet, but Soul Blade is a really cool ability. I like how they're both standard Thief Swords, by the way. Can I just point out? Standard Thief Sword. Standard Thief Sword. Because you kept them, I guess, around the same time, so they just, like, decided whatever. That's what it is. Alright, let's get up. Let's uh, get to going! Because we're almost to Clara. I think this is the last screen up here. We can just head on up here. And there we are. So let me tell you that uh, my old PlayStation 1 always froze here. Clara Settlement. If I played this game on a PlayStation 1, it freezes here every time. But if I played it on a PS2, it's fine. Which is kind of a, a kind of annoying. Hmm. I don't even know why I didn't think about it. I guess is the PlayStation 2. Well, you know what? It might actually be, be. I think what it is is it's actually my PlayStation 1. I don't use it anymore. My old PlayStation 1 is like kind of struggled to started struggling to read games, which is you know kind of unfortunate. But you know that's just how it goes. You know hardware decays, all that jazz. Let me just break up my slurpee a little bit. 
<coughs> Forest Oracle Kildia. Might you be Lady Freya? Indeed I am. Sand Oracle Satria. We have awaited your coming, my lady. How did you come to know my identity? The king of Bermesia has requested that we guide you to him. Long live the king! Take me to him immediately. At once, my lady. Zidane, I shall go to see the king. Why not take this chance to rest? Yeah, good idea. This way, my lady. So I love, I love, like, I think they kind of knew that people were going to like this because they even have this cool little, like, allow me to be your guide and show you our town. You get a little, like, uh, basically like a, a tour guide, basically, I think, yeah. So let's go into it. Please walk this way, sirs. I go find yummy yummies by myself. So we have this, uh, the oracle here is basically going to give us like a rundown of exactly how Clayro works. This is our source of water. I shall elaborate later on on how we have water hops so high here. Now for our next stop. And this is the liveliest part of our town. But there's no market today, so the usual crowd is gone. Let's move on. This windmill brings the blessings of water to our humble town. It uses the power of the sandstorm to pump water up from the ground. Come, next I shall show you the observatory. I love that detail. Like, I love the idea that like the sandstorm isn't just like a protection for Clara, but they actually use it to get water by powering up a windmill and shit. Like that's it's kind of like I don't know. To me, it's like it's a cool detail. The observatory is where the citizenry come to relax. Here we absorb our protector, the sandstorm, and here we pray to it. Next is the cathedral, the last stop on our tour. I love that you can see the sandstorm, like we're at the top here too, like you can see where it kind of breaks into the sky. The high priest who brings peace to our souls resides in the cathedral. The king of Bermesia and Lady Freya are meeting inside this building. It also houses the harp whose magic stone powers the sandstone. Sandstone, sandstorm. Let us make our way back. And that concludes the tour. Thanks a lot. M maybe I should ask her to show me around again. I haven't been a guide in ages. <laughs> I love that. We can come over here and see there's just a big sand pit over here. I think over here there should be... I forget what's here. Uh, just some money. Some cash! I love Clayra. Like, Clayra is such a cool town for what it is. Like... If you really think about it, get a nice phoenix pin in here. There's a lot of items in this town too. If you look around, uh, let's go. I forget. There's uh, gonna be some ATEs here, and you want to make sure you enter. I think we want to go right. I don't think it actually matters, but you know it's more optimal. So, no yummy yummies. Want to make sure, right? This town got no yummy yummies anywhere. You know can make famous Alexandrian dish, Queen's Meal? And they're just like, ah! You know have famous Southgate bun cake? <laughs> yeah, remember that bun cake? Apparently people love that crap. I've never actually had bun cakes, so I would know. Oh, there's a thing here. Or, hell yeah. Hey, remember these guys? It's my first time away from home, Burmesian Kid Jack. So she can be Jill? Ah, Burmesian Kid Adam. I can't stand the sandstorm, it's too loud. Will we ever see Burmese again? Leary. I think this is Dan. Yeah. Hey, I remember meeting you in Burmese. If there's anything I can do, just ask me. And he actually has a shop. He has a weapon shop. So we can actually buy stuff from him, which is awesome. So just in case you didn't have all that stuff we got from around, we actually have new armlets too. So let's buy some of those. Thunder gloves. Don't actually worry too much about buying thunder gloves, because I believe... Oh, a mage's hat too. These are awesome. Because this raises whole and shadow attack and gives you more magic. Get a Mithra home, buy two of those. 
Chain plate. We'll buy some mithril vest. Why not? Some mithril armor, too. We're actually getting a little low on money, so you gotta be careful. Because I believe in this corner... Remedy? I swear I forget where it is. Is that on the other side? I swear there should be an item somewhere around here. I forget where it is. I don't remember. Is, is it on the stairs and I just have to go up higher? Maybe not. I know there's something to find somewhere. There's a mushroom. Oh, there a mushroom. Mushroom! I never see this kind of mushroom before. Hmm. I hope it edible. <laughs> Don't hate me. Gee, I wonder who this is gonna be. Couldn't be Vivi, that'd be crazy. Look! Pointy-headed devil! D don't come any closer! You demon, leave my family alone! I wonder where she he learned to speak so strangely. Water Maiden Shannon. Flower Maiden Sharon, are you a friend of that strange apron-clad individual? <laughs> I mean, friend is such a strong word. Uh, I guess let's head to the inn too. Come over here. Consider even though we saw Vivi was here, like he's just immediately like chilling. I think we can check on Vivi in the inn actually. Oh, maybe not. Echo screen. I know there's. I, I'm just gonna say there's thunder gloves somewhere in the town, but I always forget where they are. It's somewhere. You can see, like, look how many items there are. Like, we just found more money. Like, it's actually crazy. We have rooms for 100 gold. Night Oracle Donegan. Of course the Night Oracle runs the inn. That's adorable. I love this, uh... Like, little, like, clock, too. Like, look how cool that looks. It's like, ho it's, like inside a log. Like, or, like, I guess a stump. Like, and, like, the top of it is a table. Like, how cool is this? The design of everything in Clayra is so cool. It's on the Moogle here. Mooply, there's a letter for Zidane. Let me guess from Ruby. Yeah. Let me take a drink of my Slurpee while we read what Ruby has to say as the text scrolls as slow as possible. Hmm. I decided to solve a small theater, but I had any. <clears throat> Let me try this again. It's actually kind of funny if you think about it. How the heck did this guy get... How did this Moogle get this letter? Ruby just wrote a letter and sent it to, like, through Mognet. And this Moogle just... This Moogle just happened to get it. Doesn't really make any sense if you think about it. But, I mean, you know. Who knows? Moogles are weird, so... I, I can believe it. I decided to start a small theater, but I ain't had any luck finding actors. Do you know any good actors you're looking for? Man, how I wish y'all were here. Come to think of it, you taint those guys look like a bunch of outlaws. Just kidding. You know, I don't understand this. What What is Ruby's relationship with Tantalus? It's not really explained. It never, she never feels like she... Like, it doesn't feel like she's a member of Tantalus. But it also doesn't feel like she's not a member of Tantalus, if that makes any sense. Because she's never... She never does anything with Tantalus. But she was... Like, she was on the theater ship at the start of the game. Like, she was part of the plot. And she, uh... Like, I guess she's in a... I mean, I don't know. Koopo, is she looking for actors? I want to become an actor. Who knows, man? It's weird. I want mail, Koopo. Uh, we'll wait to save. Is there anything else down here? I love the song for Cleo too. Like, it's such a cute little ditty. Like, this place just feels so like peaceful and like calm. You know what I mean? Like these tiny little chairs, this big potted plant by the door. You can see a picture frame. You know, who, who knows what's in that picture? Uh, let's head on over here. I think this is the other side. So, like, if we went left at the start, we'd end up here. I haven't heard anyone. So, yeah, now Vivi's getting chased in. You bastard! You killed my father! Bastard! 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 Yeah, bastard! <laughs> I love the kids getting in. 
Well, well, a bit touchy today, aren't we? He's one of the demons that sacked Bermesia. I haven't heard anyone. Forget with it. Like, there's gotta be something. I've. It's. Sand Oracle Satria. Clara has not seen visitors for hundreds of years. Here's the Star Maiden Nina. I have a few items at you. Oh, she has an item shop. Nice. So I'll buy some potions and. I mean, other than that, who cares? Actually, how many Geisha greens do we have? I mean. It's not really worth it, though. Uh, I'll, I'll sell a couple ethers just for some quick cash, because we don't really need them. I, I find myself making a habit of using tents over ethers anyway, so... Because ethers are just, like, good money anyways, so who cares? Let's quickly arrange my menu here. Everything can slap on the mithril armlet for bug killer. Less strength, but more spirit, which... Probably worth it, because spirit is just a very good stat. I if the Mithra armor gives me anything. Not really. Oh, this is a different screen. That was wrong. There's a screen over here. I forgot. There's the Thunder Globs. There we go. Burmesian Soldier Gid. Only a tiny fraction was made here to Clara. Damn it. I hope everyone who's saying Burmese is doing okay it says Din. Din and Dan, eh? The Moon Maiden Claire. The sandstorm that powers our town is protected by magic. To keep the storm in motion, we perform a sacred dance to the melody of a harp adorned with a magic stone. Wait, where's this put us then? Oh, I forgot there's this bottom transition. I think now that we've done, I think that now that we've completed that little AT, I think Vivi's in here. Yeah, there he is. I've never done anything bad. Ah, poor guy. It's hard not to feel. Vivi is such an adorable, like little kid, kind of character. Kind of a shame because you know, as we've seen, he gets beat up a lot by just stuff, and that doesn't really ever change. I'm just gonna spoil that. I swear I just saw an exclamation mark point up, but that might have been the pointer finger and I'm just not paying attention. Behind me lies the lair of an antlion, a foul beast. It has been quite tame recently, but I do not recommend provoking it. I tried to play cards. Oh hey, it's Quinna. I so hungry now. Even Spyro here start to look like ice cream. And Quinna just jumps in. What are you doing, Quinna? So dizzy! Sometimes you're so annoying, and I jump in after him. So yeah, this is like a special little event that happens. Fall down far. This only happens if you have Quena with you. And hey, look where we are. Too scary, but good thing we exercise. <laughs> good thing we exercise. Hey, a treasure chest. It's about time we get a lucky break. But I bet they're no yummy yummies, or they rotten anyways. Silk robe! Magician shoes. More magician shoes. So, that silk robe we just got is a thing that uh, is for mage characters. It gives ability up in Llama. This has an ec Like, look how much defense this gives. This is an excellent item to get right now. If not just for ability up alone. Like, that's really good right now. But equip Qu This also gives us a chance to equip Quina, too. Uh, he's still learning Insomniac, so we won't worry about that. Uh, this lowers his strength, but it gives him more spirit, which she already has such a low amount. We might as well. Uh, other than that, we're good. She has Insomniac, so we might as well equip that, too. Uh, we can get her Randy body for that. I forget. There's a boss we're coming up against, and I forget what it counts. I think it counts as a bug, I want to say. It might count as beast or bug, but I don't remember. Not that it matters, because Zidane's going to be stealing for most of it anyways. I guess we'll get rid of Antibite. Nothing in here is really poisoning us anyways. We'll put on Steel Gill, just because. As for you... Same thing, really. I mean, you have all the good stuff on you. So yeah, now we can... 
What now? <laughs> he still says what now. Jump down. So this is kind of scary though, because we're in this dungeon with just us. Just the two of us. So if you're not careful, you can get kind of ganked if you're uh, you know, not careful. So now that we're here by ourselves, we're definitely going to be running away from everything. Especially if you run into like a golem or something, that's going to like mutilate us, right? He does like 200 damage per punch. It's, it's pretty cool that this is here. It's, it's like a little event. Like, not only does it give you it gives you some good items, and it also gives you a small little extra ch bonus challenge of uh, be careful not to get murdered when you're going back up. I believe... Actually, no. You know, now that I think about it, I betcha this is why um, you get locked out of going out of backtracking in Clayra. Which is kind of funny, because the first door you can reclose, but the sandstream you can't reclose, so... We're in clay right now, and you can't backtrack out of here. And it's probably because of this event, actually. They made sure that you couldn't go back to the world map with just the two of you, because I don't know why. I guess just because. Why, you know, don't let you do it. Who knows? If you're pretty, like, good about moving, though, you can kind of avoid getting... You don't have to worry too much about uh, getting ganked, because if you're good about moving, you can kind of just, like... Uh, get out of here. I forget how this works. I think it's just like it's based on which direction you're facing when you get out of the sand. That's where you jump towards. It might also just be random. I don't know. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. What's this screen called? Actually, nothing. But every screen here, I feel like, is just called Trunk. Yeah. They don't want to bother naming every screen. Which is perfectly fair. Actually, do you have anything different to say? Nope. I forget, I think you might actually be allowed to jump back down with now that you've done this. No, you actually can't. Once you jump down, if you miss those... You know, actually, it might even be more than that. It might actually be that if you jump uh, down and don't collect the chest, you're allowed to jump back down there on that screen. But uh, don't quote me on that. I don't know how it works. Game is pretty good about trying to avoid letting you just accidentally miss something, but... Oh, I know how to play cards. Nope. I love cards. Wanna play cards? <laughs> do do do. Uh, hey, actually, do they say anything different? How Quinn is with us? Nope. <coughs> Ooh, I got the hiccups. <gasps> oh God! I went back. <laughs> I think there's a couple items on this screen. Nice. A lot of two echo screens at you, which is kind of funny. What do you have to say? Wind Maiden Eileen. Burmesians are like us Clarens, and that we both or in that both societies value dance. Our tradition, however, is older. Thus, the, our dances involve greater power than those of Burmesia. Sounds like you're just kind of showboating. Ours are older, so they're better. That's Guy Show Greens again, actually. That's kind of funny. Sun Oracle Florin. In days of old, the folk of Clara and Burmesia lived under the same sky. But Clarins fed to this tree to avoid conflict with the Burmesians, who began to value the arts of war. Uh, is there anything behind you guys? By this cool little, like, water well? I couldn't remember what it was called. Lorena. We're so happy that Clarins decided to take us in. Claire and people are kind of stiff, but they're nice once you get to know them, says Gary. Gary Oak. Uh, where's this screen go? I think this takes us back to the windmill screen. Yeah. So we can head on over here to the cathedral. Get a nice look at this screen. I think there's items here too. Yeah, there's items everywhere in this town. Yellow scarf. And I think there's one more thing over here, because they like to be symmetrical. Wow, I'm shocked there's nothing over here. I am afraid I cannot let you pass, says Sky Oracle Mylan. And this one will tell us a message. Tree Oracle Wylan says, I have a message for Master Zidane from Lady Freya. <clears throat> I was told to convey the following. Zidane, this may take some time, so please write at the end. That's me doing an impression of an impression. You try to walk through them, doesn't let you. Boo do 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 do. Uh, do we have man eater equipped? That's probably a good idea. 
Let, we're not gonna be running away from any of these fights, so there we go. We'll put a man eater. There we go. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. If you couldn't tell by the fact that I'm equipping that, that means something. All right, let's head over to the inn. I like that these two transitions both take you to the inn. They just take you to different spots on the screen. Like I like that there's like all these different ways through town, even though you don't really need them. Help! I think that's Dan. What is the matter? The, the antlion's mauling a kid! The antlion? It is usually so docile. How could... We gotta teach that beast a lesson. This calls for immediate action. I shall inform the high priest at once. Hey buddy, wh where are you going? These clarins are all so damn lazy. You there, give me a hand if you think you're good enough. I mean, on the one hand, it's like... You know, these guys took you in, and they're, like, protecting you, you know? You shouldn't really be so quick to just call him a jerk. But on the other hand, he's kind of right. If it's mauling a kid, I don't think it really helps that you're going to slowly walk over and tell someone. All right, now we're going to save. Actually, do you have a thing? Nope. We'll save, we'll, we'll save in here now, though. Uh... I don't want to save over that, man. That's going to get weird. So I guess we'll save over this. Woo -doo. Woo -doo. All right, so let's check out what this so-called ant line looks like. Let's see if he's tough nuts or not. Tough nuts. A kid's being attacked by an antlion! I forget if he says anything different if we intercept him or if we just talk to him now. Oh! Well, I guess we'll never know because it sucked me into that screen. Yeah, it's a boss fight. So that's the antlion! Ah! Help me! Hey look, it's Puck! No! Hang in there, champ! We're gonna save you! Is the child alright, Zidane? Yeah, he's fine. Like hell I'm fine! That voice! Might it be Prince Puck? Freya, where you been? Agura! I'm imitating the antline for some reason, because why not? Ow! Quena gives no craps. That hurts, you stupid jerk. Here it comes. I couldn't read it, it's so fast! So it's probably a good thing I saved, because uh, the antline is definitely a boss you can game over to. Because, you know, just like with Gazama Luke, the game does not hold any. it's not holding anything back. For some reason, this part of the game is particularly tough. Uh, let's, I mean, let's immediately open up by seeing if we can slow it while we try to steal from him. We have successfully stolen from him, or slowed him, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, what's it going to use? Sand, yeah, see, here's the problem. It has sandstorm, and unlike the uh, one that What's-His-Face uses, this is different. This one inflicts blind on everyone and also puts us all down to critical HP. Which is a kind of a big deal. This is why getting White Wind is extremely useful. You definitely want to get White Wind for this boss fight. It's pretty rough if you don't. There's especially another reason why later. Like this guy doesn't have any group target attacks, but he kind of also does, and we'll see why. What I mean by that in a little bit here. Uh, other than that, I mean we'll just Blazara with uh. Vivi, which, you know, this thing is weak to ice, so this is going to do a ton of damage. Look at that damage. And we're going to use Soul Blade. Draws out the hidden power in Thief Swords. I wonder what that means. Well, when we use it, it inflicts blind on him. I wonder why. We'll find out more about that later. For now, though, we'll just uh, chill out here. Gonna try to steal from him some more. He's slow, so I didn't get a chance to steal from him after soul blading, which is nice. As you can imagine, because we just stole an anointment from him, there's a reason for that. Holy crap, this thing almost we almost got three attacks in. That slow is a lot stronger than I thought it was. Oh it missed! Nice! I didn't even like it missed, that's funny. But yeah, you can see he has an attack called Trouble Mucus, and if you couldn't guess, that does in fact inflict uh, trouble on us. 
And that is kind of what this boss tries to do. He will sandstorm us into critical HP and then he'll attack someone with trouble to spread the damage and kill everyone instantly. Which is kind of a nasty combo. So like, it definitely hurt, doesn't, you know, it helps to keep on top of the trouble, that's for sure. We can say that because Quinn is, uh, what should we call it? Spirit stat is really low. His, uh, regenerate wears off pretty quickly. Ow! We will potion with Vivi. Well, it actually doesn't help too much to keep your, uh, whatchamacallit, your HP up too high because he uses Sandstorm throughout the fight. So, a lot of times, like, what'll end up happening is you'll be like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll just keep Sandstorm, and then, you know, you'll do that. Or, you, you know what I mean? Like, you'll keep your health up, and then he'll just Sandstorm back down again. Since we're here, though, we might as well throw out some auto lifes. We'll put one on Quena. Because, like, like I said, this is a really useful skill to have. Because now we basically have, like, a get out of jail free card. If the damage gets spread, we can potentially, you know, get out of getting killed. You know, if we're like, hey, we got the Mythical Vest. I forget what this guy's last steal is. I think he has a... I want to say he has some kind of, ex like, weapon for someone. Yeah, and this is why White Wind is super useful, though. Like, you... Alternatively, you can basically just, uh, like, throw potions. Like, if everyone throws a potion when it sandstorms, you're fine. I mean, since Freya's in trance, you might as well jump. Trance is... Freya is actually really well off jumping in this fight because it helps, it, like, you know, gives her a good chance to just miss the sandstorm, which helps when, you know, sandstorm can potentially just destroy you if you're not lucky. You'll notice he hasn't used any physical attack yet, and that is because uh, he has a physical attack, but it's actually his counter. So he won't ever physically attack you if you don't attack him with you know your own hits. I forget if Spear triggers this. Probably not, because Frey is in the air, right? Surely that's how that would work. I don't remember what his last steal is. Maybe I should look this up beforehand. I'm going to try to get it. I'm gonna hold back. The thing is, is that Vivi can be doing some nutty damage in this fight, because, like, you can kill the boss of Vivi really quick, because it only takes, like, I want to say, like, maybe five Lazarus kills this guy. So he's high power, but he's also very fragile. We probably won't get this steal, but I'll stall long enough to see it. There's the Trouble Mucus. I think Trouble Mucus might also trigger uh, Trouble, although hilariously enough he's missed again. That's insane luck. I don't know what its chance of missing is, but it's not very high, so that's pretty crazy. Pray I'll be back. I believe this boss is actually vulnerable to uh, sleep, actually, so we can put him to sleep at night, I believe. We're just gonna keep auto life in, though, keep everyone, like, auto life is just great to have Quenna just use, just to keep everyone safe. He, he doesn't have much MP, so he can only use it a couple times, but, like, it's nice to have. I mean, that's where tents come into play, right? Is Chubby Mucus finally gonna hit? How was that missed three times? That's insane, actually. I cannot believe that, actually. Like, not even joking. That's really insane luck. Yeah, we'll throw a tent on Quinn. I give him his uh, MP and HP back. And we'll have Quinn on standby to see if she gets poisoned or not. You can also get silenced, obviously, but you know. Hey, freebie! So, auto life for. Auto life, uh, Freya. Why not? Raised Wind is also awesome for this, because Raised Wind will, you know, trigger immediately after Sandstorm, right? Because you're getting regen. 
Crack. Oh, no, that's Fire Rock. I forget if single target magic spells give the boost. Wow. Jesus. There we go. That's why I have Auto Life. We'll throw a high potion, because we have plenty of those. Keep Zidane top off. Actually, he's going to get regen, so... Let's we'll throw a tent. We'll throw a potion. Because, I mean, it's, it's, it's only... You know, what are the chances he gets attacked again? I mean, there you go. That's exactly why I didn't bother. steal anything. We'll try stealing one more and then we'll just start beating this guy up. That's also kind of unfortunate. You, since because, uh, you'll notice, like, because it transitions from, you know, the walking around to immediately to this fight, we don't get to equip <coughs> uh, Vivian Freya. <coughs> Which is kind of a reoccurring theme with stuff in this game. Can really likes to do that. Alright, we're gonna steal one more time. And we'll also uh, throw a eye drop on you. Bada ba do bang 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 bang. Alright, come on, Ziding. Do me proud. Steal that item. Here comes Trouble because well we finally see it hits. Imagine actually seeing trouble status. That's crazy. <laughs> We're gonna immediately cure that, because I forget if that stay I don't think it stays if you die, but I'd rather not uh, test that out. So we'll cure that. Use phrase wind again, and then we'll cure Quina. And then we're gonna just gonna start beating him up. Who's this gonna miss? Probably Freya. I forget. I don't think that re like like I think if you still have regen, it doesn't like refresh it. It just like misses. So you have to be careful about that. Here comes trouble mucus again. Who's getting hit? <laughs> oh my god, he's missing. Wait, trouble mucus is physical. That's probably why it's missing. I'm so dumb. It's because we blinded him. All right, well, let's beat him up. We're gonna see why, like, I think once we smack him, like, look at that damage, 420, hashtag swag. There's his physical attack, though, counter horn. This'll probably miss... Oh, no. Unfortunately, it did not miss. Uh, we will also... I, I, this thing might actually be weak to defenseless. Let me see, actually, like, why not? Quinn is, uh... Freaking... Blinded anyways. So let's see if we can... Here's the animation, by the way. It looks pretty cool, it has these spears. Did it miss? Sadly. We'll smack with Freya, and then we'll see... Watch how much damage this Blizzard is about to do after we focused a couple times. Hey, missed Counterhorn too, nice. So yeah, Blinded Guy is a lot better than I thought. I, I thought Trouble Mucus was magic for some reason. Watch this... Watch this Mondo damage, by the way. Yeah, 3,000, he just, like, almost one-shot the boss. Vivi is hella strong once he gets the tier 2 spells. I don't know what that guy had to steal. I'll look it up probably later. Hmm. I don't I think it might actually be a weapon for Freya. That's what's popping into my brain. Maybe not, though. What is it? Maybe it's a... I don't remember. I, it feels like it must be a weapon, but I don't remember. And we got uh, stuff for Vivi. We got Blizzard, so we can finally swap to a new staff. Are you alright, your highness? Hey, Freya, what's up? But how can this be? I heard that your highness disappeared upon leaving Burmesia. Uh, yeah. Well... Let us go at once to the cathedral to inform his majesty. My old man, huh? 
Nah, I don't want to see him. Just tell him I said hi, okay? Later. But your highness. Take care, Vivi. He's so rude. Vivi, much nicer. He's the first friend I ever had. I gotta tell him something. I see. So you saw Puck, eh? As mischievous as ever, your majesty. I haven't seen him in ages. I heard his highness left Vermisia one month after me. That makes it three years. And yet both you and Puck decided to return to me in this time of danger. I am grateful. Freya, we shall conduct an ancient ceremony to strengthen the sandstorm. Surely no enemy of ours would attack with the powerful storm protecting Clara. And with the help of a dragon knight like you, the storm should grow even more powerful. Ah, the ceremony from the time when Bermisi and Clay were one. I understand. Zidane, I met with utter failure when trying to defend Bermisia, and I will not allow Bronn to exert her will upon us any other or er, any longer. You've changed, Freya. I didn't think you were so strong when I first met you. I could not bring peace to Bermisia and thus fulfill Sir Fratley's wish. But now all I can do is protect this beautiful place. Yeah, protecting Clara is the best thing you can do for yourself. Doing so will help me. So yeah, let's just watch this awesome little scene. The strings have snapped. A terrible omen this is. And yeah, they give you this sweet this sweet dancing and then immediately whiplash you into like holy shit, what just happened? I think this is the first time we hear this song. This is a very Final Fantasy VII sounding song, I've always thought. <laughs> I love that dance scene, by the way. Like, every time every time I play this game, I always kind of look forward to it. Like, it, it's not anything crazy. Like, it's just, it, you know, they're just doing a little ditty or whatever. But it's like, I don't know. It, it's very... How do I put this? Like, I had the word in my head, but now I've forgotten. It's very, like... Damn it, what was the word? It's very, uh... Ah, I don't remember. Damn it, I, I hate This is the worst feeling in the world is when you know... When you have a word on the tip of your tongue that you want to say and it's like you can't think of it. And because I can't think of it, I'm never going to think of it because I'm stuck in a rut. Where it's like my brain will just sit here and just... Like, I just go brain dead and can't think of anything anymore. I... Uh... Whatever. It's it's a very um like I don't know. It's a very damn it. I the perfect word and it's just gone. It's just on the tip of my tongue, but I will never think of it until like two hours later when all of a sudden it pops into my head again. I don't know. It's a very like nice. Damn, that's that's so such a crappy compliment. It's nice. Uh.
charming there you go it's a very charming scene because it's very like like they didn't have to like they could have just had the stone be it just powers the storm but instead they have it be powered by the song and you get to see the song get played and you get to see the dance get done and you get to see it get screwed up for some reason i can't believe the sandstorm disappeared what happened i don't know I have never witnessed anything like this since we settled here. On the harp, there is a magic stone. Since ancient times, we have used the power of the stone to control the sandstorm. Perhaps someone is trying to invade Clara. I fear that you may be right, my lord. I only hope our enemies don't come up the trunk. This scene always... The I always felt like that explanation of the stone was a little weird because it's like they basically just say it broke and they don't know why and it, it kind of makes sense like of course they don't know why because like how could you ever know but it's like they just like they, they give that as like excuse to say maybe someone's trying to invade us like well how could someone break how could someone else have broken it I don't know it's a little weird if you think about it but I don't know maybe that's just me maybe it's one of those things you're just not supposed to think that hard about I don't know how dare they imprison us like this? Those wretched court jesters. Sword and Thorn will never get away with this. I can't believe I got dragged into this. No one asked you to meddle in our affairs. It's pretty sad getting backstabbed by your own queen. This is all some kind of mistake. I know the queen. She would never betray me. Wishful thinking. Who knows what she's going to do to the princess. I must save the princess at all costs. I wonder if mother will even listen to me. Why did she attack Bramicia? And why did she arrest us like this? I must be sincere with her. She hasn't been herself lately. Actually, she's been acting rather strange since my birthday last year. The same day that tall man visited us. Maybe he had something to do with it. Come to think of it, that was when things began to change. Dr. Tot left Alexandria shortly afterwards too. What happened that day? Queen Braun summons you. Come with us. What? How dare you speak to me like that? Quiet! With us you are coming and that is that. What was that phrase? Oh yeah. Get off me you scumbag. <laughs> I love this. That's so adorable. What was that? I do not understand. Understand what she said, I do not either. Enough! Now come with us. You can tell she doesn't like Zorn and Throne, because that's pretty much the only time we ever see her act with any sort of, like, uh, like, uh, snootiness, I guess you could say. Like, like, she's above them, right? She gets mad that they're just, like, so, like, stout with her. For so long, the queen has waited. Right? Because not once does she ever get mad at anyone else for speaking to her, like, at all. Mother. Darling, there you are. Where were you? I've been worried sick. Here, come closer. Mother, there is something I need to ask you. What is it, darling? I will tell you anything you wish to know. Did you... Is it true that you were responsible for the destruction of Bermesia? Oh, well, no wonder you look so concerned. That is far from the truth, Garnet. You see, those Burmesian rats have been plotting to destroy Alexandria for some time. I couldn't just wait for them to attack and destroy our precious kingdom. So I had no choice but to take the initiative. Mother, is that really the truth? Of course. I would never lie to you. Yeah, I'm not believing that. I don't believe you. Oh, darling, what's wrong? Why wouldn't you believe your mother? Might I also play a part in this act? Act? Yes, an act from a beautiful play. There is a knight on a white horse. And a beautiful princess, it is a tale of tragic love. Overcome by grief, the princess must sleep for a hundred years. 
You, I've seen you before. It appears we are destined to meet again. My sweet angel, come to me. I will take you to a world of dreams. She's beautiful, even in sleep. <laughs> Impudent little girl. Zorn, Thorn! Prepare to extract the Eidolons from... The Eidolons? The Eidolons? The Eidol... The I... Doli Lawiwa. Eidolons from Garnet, whatever. I'm never going to be satisfied saying that. I'm sure there's an actual pronunciation in some Final Fantasy game somewhere, but... I love this little scene too, it's a, we immediately get another dance. A belated happy princess prince or happy princess birthday, I was gonna say the- Man, that would have been quite the slow Freudian schlip. A belated happy birthday princess, hee hee hee. Sixteen years old, the princess has become. Draw the Eidolons from her, finally we can. Eidolons of eternal life, Eidolons of infinite power. Arise from the sixteen years sleep, depart after the sixteen year wait. Let there be light, let there be life. Like, I like this scene. The time has come, the time is now. Because it's like, between the music, come forth, Odin, warrior of the dark, and like, the way they're acting and the dancing, it's really like, unsettling. Not that we get much time to kind of stick on it, because it just immediately rushes through it. What are you doing here? Tell me, why do you think the sandstorm disappeared? I don't know. I was surprised that there even was a sandstorm. Did you know that the sandstorm was here for a thousand years? And all the time it never disappeared. Not even once. Perhaps Braun is behind all this. We have three options here actually, which is kind of cute. But of course, you can have Zayden just be a total loon and be like, Oh, I'm only thinking about Dagger. What about that guy who's with Braun? Actually, I'm more concerned about who that guy with Braun and Bermesia was. That man, I wonder who he was. Zayden, I'm gonna head down to find out why the sandstorm disappeared. Hey, I was thinking the same thing. Let's go together. I'm gonna go find Vivi and Quenna. I'll meet you at the town entrance. And hey look, we get to be Freya! I think this is, by the way, this is uh... I think this is, the, well, I know for a fact this is the only mandatory time you ever get to control Freya. And Freya's way down there, so we can equip her, I guess. Slap on the Partisan. This gets us Lancer if we didn't have it before. Pretty big power boost, too, up to 25. And it gives her high tide, which is nice. That lowers her spirit, but it gives her two more magic defense, which is probably worth it. Thunder Gloves are awesome, though. Devil and add status. They give some, you know, more stats. But also, mm, thunder damage reduced by 50%. And it raises thunder amount attack. These are really great. We can also slap on the Mithra Armor. The Mithra Armor gives her a big defense boost, too. So, we're just about done. Darn. We're done with this part. But, if you back, you know, while we're playing as Freya, this is a very unique opportunity. So, we have a chance to basically walk around and talk to everyone as Freya. You can also, you know, milk in the fact, like, look at all these screens are different now, which is, you know, obviously that makes sense, but, it, you know, it's nice. This could be the end of Clara. The disappearance of the Sandstorm heralded the coming of invaders. And there's a good reason to do this, because if we come back in here, and start talking to people. This is an act of someone with unspeakable powers. Could a magical force powerful enough to break the harp strings be aimed at us? So it's never strictly said, but I believe the implication is that somehow... Uh, whatchamacallit? What's his face? I can't remember his name now. The tall man. Why am I suddenly blanking on his name? Kuja, jeez. I knew they would come. I wonder why they can't just restart the sandstorm. You know, that's actually a good question. I actually don't know. I don't know if they explain that. I think it's because, like, the harp is magical, so they can't just replace the strings. The strings. Breaking? How foreboding. You get a chance to walk around in here, too. What's this called? The cathedral. Well, I mean, duh, but it's kind of cool. Received ore. We can just ransack our own cathedral. Ether. So if I talk to these two, have you seen Puck? 
Yeah, he's just worried about plot. Can we play cards? Nope. This, this stone has protected Clara since the days of old. I hereby bestow it upon you in hopes that you may learn to use it. We get an emerald! And the emerald, who boy. It's pretty awesome. We get weight draw from that. MP 10% and haste. We're actually not going to equip that right away because right away, we want, you know, ability up from that. But uh, it is actually a very nice item for uh, Freya, and we'll see why later on. Uh, I'm trying to think. I fear that an attack is coming. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. I guess I guess that would be the idea, is the strings are, like, they're not just, like... I mean, to be fair, I imagine replacing strings at a time like this probably isn't easy. You almost think they might have, like, you know, like, extra supplies of that or something, but I don't know. I regret this happening during your stay in Clara. I still have some merchandise. Hey. Eh, flick around a bit more. Does this take us to the... Yeah, it just takes us here. Hey, these guys are here now. The view has completely changed. A, vo a view devoid of sand. This troubles me. Uh, I'll head to the inn right before I finish, obviously, because that's where the save move was. Actually, I forget if he's in there right now. He might actually have moved. I don't remember. Let's look around a bit more, though. With the weakened winds, even this windmill may come to a stop. I have a bad feeling about this. If it's war they want, then it's war they'll get. Alright. That should be... Yeah, that's about it. So let's head into the inn. <laughs> we get see Freya has her own door opening animation. I'm worried. I'm so worried. At least it's a lot quieter. No matter what happens, I must protect my children. Just speak up if you need anything for me. Good old Dan. Good guy, Dan. Hey, there's Stiltskin. I forgot he's here right now. You may rest here. You pay. You need pay me nothing. Thanks. That's really nice. I forgot they give you a free heal after this. Actually, it might be specifically that only Freya gets a free heal, even though you don't. She doesn't really need it because I think you get healed at some point during those cutscenes. But still, so hate still seeing what's shaken. A three-piece combo of high potion ether and phoenix pinion for four, four, four gil. The ether and phoenix pinions are each separately worth more than that. So like, yeah, that's an awesome deal. This place is so dusty, you know. I can't stand it. There's a letter from Mon Eve, Koopa. Let's read it together. One last letter to read, and I'll let it scroll slowly while I drink the rest of my slurpee. Hmm. <sighs> People are climbing up to the Clara since the sandstorm disappeared, Koopa. I have a bad feeling about this. What's going to happen? Will Clara end up like Bromesia? Is there anyone who can help us? Kupo. This sounds awful, Kupo. I'm going to pack and leave with Stiltskin. And yeah, that'll be it for this part. See you guys later. I think this might have actually been a pretty long part. I kind of... I don't know. I've been enjoying... This has been a fun part. I love the Clara part of the game, so, you know. If it's a little long, you know... Sorry, but I mean, what can you do? Anyways, yeah. See you guys later.